Hey, what's up guys, Vihan here. Okay, so I was at home the other day doing the thing that I do best, you know, scrolling through stuff on my phone when I came across this article published by Vox titled, Is This the End of Productivity? Obviously referring to how the pandemic has affected our lives in so many ways and ultimately caused everything to slow all the way down. This has even been backed up by a study conducted by Eternity that found a 7.2% decline in productivity in the US since COVID-19 hit. And this got me thinking because there are certainly several things that are true in this article. And let me pull this up here for a second. For instance, it says a lot of that yearning for productivity comes from social media, where people tend to broadcast their accomplishments even in spite of the pandemic. Seeing how productive everyone else is during this situation feels like even though I'm just as productive as I can be, I'm nowhere near as productive as I can be. And this is rung so true, especially with me, where it doesn't feel so much like trying to keep up with what other people are doing. Instead, I think this comes from trying to maximize time at home and taking advantage of that unusual opportunity that not being able to leave the house brings. And for me, this manifests in a variety of ways. I'm trying to write and film as many of these videos as possible and maintain a certain quality, plus building skills that I've been trying to master for some time now. I've also been working on getting through as many of the books that are on my reading list that I possibly can. Not to mention maintaining some semblance of a workout routine at home without that added motivation that being in a gym brings. And yet despite all of this, it's so important to remember that this is in fact an unusual time in our lives, one that we may never see the likes of ever again. There's still a constant inundation of articles and news talking at us about how we can make the most of our additional time. It can be fairly challenging to be as productive as you've ever been because you're dealing with an additional emotional hurdle that you don't normally have to deal with. Uncertainty. Uncertainty about when things will go back to the way that they were, whether your job is safe and whether your health is safe. But if you're lucky enough to have even kept your job amidst this entire crisis and you're at home and seemingly not working as intensely, there's a part of your brain that's still thinking about whether you should bake that banana bread, or redecorate your home, or start that podcast. But it's perfectly fine to not want to do anything at all either, and realize that your ability to do things has probably even significantly decreased. You're certainly not the only one. If you're experiencing a harder time with this whole thing, and you just want to curl up in a ball, my main recommendation would be to shift your thinking from solely getting things done to one where you can channel your energy towards your hobbies and your passions. This is the point where you need to identify what your priorities are and what's important to you. And definitely not base your to-do list off of some ideal that you think would look good on paper or on Instagram. If you're able to do this, you might just find your attention shift from wanting to deal with multiple things to instead focus on the quality of a few important things. You may feel like you're unable to focus as well when you're at home, but you can even set up your environment to minimize distractions and try to avoid multitasking in order to enter a state of flow. For so long, we've placed so much of our own worth on how productive we're being, to the point where our health and well-being can be put at risk. And in my case, I have a hard time letting things go because I always feel like there's something more that I could be doing. But during this time, I found it even more powerful to revisit my goals and focus my energy towards the things that I can control. Seeing the world around you adapt to these changes, regardless of how productive people are being, is a wonderful display of human resilience. Sure, our routines have changed, like previously I would put on a suit and have multiple meetings throughout the day. But now I'll just have a Zoom call and I'll not put any pants on and I'm good. And if you don't know what's gonna happen next, that's fine too. The Vox article also says this. Perhaps with the majority of Americans forced to reckon with an unprecedented state of inactivity, we'll be more inclined to put our phones down and separate accomplishment from self-worth. There's even an argument that this is beneficial and ironically can make us more productive in the long run. The thing that I'm taking away from all of this is that this is certainly a time for reflection, to identify how we can work smarter instead of working harder, how we can trade some of that volume for quality. And when we make it through this, which we will, we'll be better off for it. So how are you coping with this whole thing? Do you feel like your productivity has declined because of the way things are? Or do you feel like there's not much of a change? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to see how things are working for you and whether there is one challenge that's greater than the other. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.